I have a simple question to the parents here. How often do you mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in front of your families? And when you mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what is the context? Well, what we find very often, and this is, of course, isn't everyone, what we find very often is that we most use the name of Allah when we're trying to make a threat. Allah, if you don't do this, Allah, if you don't do that. Or in just very casual, joking, friendly conversation. Billah, did you hear this? Allah, did you hear that? Allah, did you hear that? And, you know, this isn't something of haram. However, we have to ask the question, what message is that sending to our children when the only time or when they most often hear the name of Allah in the context of threats, in the context of jokes or just casual conversation? And so what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in the Quran? وَلَا تَجْعَلُوا اللَّهَ عُرْضَةً لِأَيْمَانِكُمْ أَن تَبَرُّوا وَتَتَّقُوا وَتُصْلِحُوا بَيْنَ النَّاسِ Basically, don't use Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name in a casual or in a way that it's not befitting to the majesty, the grandeur of who he is subhanahu wa ta'ala. And imagine a child growing up and the only time they hear the name of Allah in their home is when they're being threatened. The religion becomes nothing more than just commands. Allah told you to do this. Allah told you to do that. Allah told you to stay away from this. Allah told you to stay away from that. And again, ask the question, what message is that sending to the child, young or old, young child or a teenager or someone in their early 20s or late 20s, what message is that sending them? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a threat to me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is scary. Yet when we talk about Allah's names and attributes, what do we call them? Al-Asma'ul Husna, the beautiful names. Not the names of the one who wants to threaten you and watch you and zap you and punish you. And so Allah is telling us, reminding us, oh believers, don't use Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name in vain. Don't use it in an inappropriate way. Rather use Allah's name to connect the child with the beautiful aspects of their existence. So when you talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, connect it to the beauty of creation. Connect it to the good of life. Connect it to the feeling of safety and security. Allah hafil, Allah protects. Allah khaliq, Allah creates. Allah jameel, yuhibbul jamal. Allah is beautiful. He loves those or who loves those who beautify themselves. When we do this, we connect the child to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way that makes them curious about who Allah is. Sends the message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is someone you want to be close to and you want, to be, you want him to be close to you. And so it's all about how we mention the name of Allah. Also, we find that our families most mention the name of Allah in the context of Islam when it comes to a command. Allah tells you to do this, Allah prohibits you from that. And no doubt that's important, a very important part. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what? لَيْسَ الْبِرُ أَن تُوَلُّوا وَجُوهَكُمْ قِبْلَ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ Piety, Islam, isn't just a symbolic religion where we do symbolic things and just a symbol and, you know, we have certain rituals and celebrations. Rather, as the rest of the verse continues and tells us, Islam is about a relationship to Allah that includes the acts of worship, but it also includes character, akhlaq. Those who fulfill their commands, if they, those who fulfill their promises and agreements, if they enter into agreement. Those who are patient. Sometimes life goes up and down. We are dealing with difficult times right now. Inflation, the housing market, whatever it is. This is an excellent time to talk to your family about the importance of patience and how Allah loves those who are patient and how Allah is with those who are patient and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides those in times of difficulty, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes after difficulty times of ease. With that, the child connects 
we connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where we become, we enter into a relationship where we submit willingly, we submit lovingly. But if our only mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, I'm threatening you and you better be careful, then what can we expect from our children? So when you talk about Allah in your family, in the, in, when you mention the name of Allah in your homes, be conscious, be cognizant of how you're mentioning Allah's name, how often you're mentioning his name, and the, in the context in which you are mentioning his name. Make Allah someone beautiful, for he is beautiful. And when Allah is seen as beautiful in the hearts and minds of people, then people become attracted to him and want to go to him. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for tawfiq. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Just a few quick announcements. Once again,